Hey, I want to remind you, do not get caught up in offenses and division. What can that look like? You know, we live in a day where people want to say, I'm of this camp, I belong to this group, I belong to this denomination. And we saw that even in the Bible. Remember when the disciples were with Jesus and they saw this man casting out demons, he was speaking in the name of Jesus, sharing the good news, right? And they got offended in their heart and they said, Jesus, what is he doing? Does he have the authority to act in such a way? But Jesus gave them a valuable notice of understanding. He put them on notice. He said, look, as long as he's doing good and he is preaching the name of Jesus, let it go. Let it be. And we see that today. So many people get offended because if they don't agree with somebody uh, in one space or don't agree with one idea, they're ready to cast them out of the kingdom. But Jesus said, as long as they are going forth and preaching the name of Jesus and souls are being win." Who are you to stop their ministry? Let God be God. God is very capable of judging his own servants. He does not need our help, right? Let God judge his own servants. You stop trying to be the judge and jury because in time, all is revealed, right? And God has the power even in a place where there's a lot of nonsense going on there is still the potential for a Samuel to arise even in a ministry that has fallen off of the tracks. So I say that to you all to be reminded to do good, to not get in this business of where you feel like you've got to expose everything. You've got to call this person out. No, 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 no. You just go forth and do good. You just go forth sharing the gospel and watch lives be changed.